Hi, welcome back to Forbes Games. I am Eric Kane, and today I'm going to talk a bit more about Wordle, which is this viral sensation right now, this word puzzle game. Who would have thought that a word puzzle game would become such a viral hit? But it's awesome. It's great because I love words. I love puzzles. And we've got a word puzzle game that has just taken the whole internet by storm. Uh, Wordle is a free-to-play game. You cannot play it on the App Store. You cannot play it on Google Play. We will link to the actual website in the description of this video. But it is totally free to play. There are no ads. There are no microtransactions. It is just a fun game. Once a day you can play. There's one word a day. So it is not going to suck up all your time. It's just going to give you a slightly better vocabulary. Uh, so in this video, I want to talk about tips and tricks for success at Wordle. How do you beat each day's puzzle? Uh, of course, there's no guarantee that you're going to win. But there are some strategies that can make your guesses better and just your overall word puzzle skills better. So uh, number one, use common letters. In your first guess, especially... Use some of the most common letters in the English language because it, it, you'll either uh, find the some of the letters that are in the word or you'll eliminate some of the most common letters out there, which can narrow down your choices going forward, which is great. Uh, the most common letters in the English language are E, T, A, I, O, N, S, H, and R. Uh, at the beginning of a word, letters T, A, O, D, and W, and at the end of the word, E, S, D, and T. So... Obviously, you're going to have to think about that a little bit, but some words that include these common letters include uh, words like uh, slate, steam, uh, risen, tears, rents. Uh, there are a number of other words, but obviously, if you just think about words that include these letters, that can make for a good first guess. And if you have a good first guess, that can lead to better secondary third guesses. Uh, you have six Six guesses to get the word right. So starting out strong is really, really helpful, whether you eliminate letters or whether you uh, get some of the right letters, especially in the right place. Um, avoid letter words with really uncommon letters or multiple uncommon letters. Like Z is not a very common letter. So pizza, which includes two Zs, is not a very good starting word. It would also be a very challenging correct word. So keep that in mind that some of these words that are especially challenging may not include many of the common letters. Uh, we saw that earlier this week with the word null, K-N-O-L-L, -L, not a very common word, not very common letters, and certainly K and N together, while there are multiple words that include that, is not very common. So that can throw you for a loop. Using these common letters and words with common letters is not a guarantee. It is just a strategy. So one way to, to sort of uh, make up for the fact that this is not a guarantee, uh, one way to sort of hedge your bets a little bit, uh, hedge is another good word, um, is to expand your vocabulary. And a few ways to expand your vocabulary include reading more books. Uh, read more books, read more novels, read poetry, read short stories, read histories, read historical fiction, uh, read challenging classic literature, read modern thrillers, read mysteries, read whatever you enjoy, but read more. This is a good goal for everyone. If you don't read books, you're going to have a harder time solving word puzzles. If you, if you don't love reading books, there's also comic books. There's also video games. Some video games, like especially computer RPGs, like Planescape Torment and some of these other games, um, Divinity Original Sin, some of these games have a lot of text to read. And just reading that text is like reading a book and it can help expand your vocabulary. Listen to audiobooks while you jog or while you go to the gym. There are so many ways to sort of increase your vocabulary through literature, video games, uh, that sort of thing. Um, play Wordle every day. Play each, I mean, it's just one word a day. It doesn't take up much of your time, a couple minutes tops, really, unless you're really stumped with some of these hard words. Um, play it every day. Play it as many days as you can. Um, and, you know, when you when you get the word, if you're not really sure what it means, look it up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start including definitions and etymology with my posts just to help people understand the words that they're that they're figuring out and especially if you're not a, a, a first an English first language speaker but um, finally outside of books outside of games that sort of thing there's there's also board games and other kind of puzzle games that you can play beyond Wordle fill out some crossword puzzles this will help expand your vocabulary and your way of thinking about words guessing at words play games like Scrabble or Boggle uh, that that help you you know figure out how to put words together and also can expand your vocabulary, especially if you're playing with other people who might 
have you know a different or better vocabulary than you. Challenge yourself. Uh, Bananagrams is a really fun game because it's fast paced. It's like Scrabble on speed, you know. So play games like that. All of these things will help expand your vocabulary and your 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 practice with words, and this will help you succeed at a game like Wordle. Um, playing Wordle, playing these other games, reading lots of books, all of this, all of this, I think, leads to becoming a better person. Uh, the more you read, I think, the more you tap into your empathy, the more you're able to communicate with others. And if I think if there's one thing we need in this country and in this world right now is to be able to better communicate with one another um, and just make the world a little bit richer, a little bit more compassionate through language um, and through understanding. So uh, I think this is all <laughs> all for the greater good, really. Um, and you can be a part of that just by playing a game and, and, and by expanding your mind. So uh, anyways... That's all I have to say about that. Good luck with Wordle. Uh, I will be posting my, my Wordle experience at, at, on the daily. So check out my blog and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.